Hi, today we are going to discuss about GUI. Now, what is GUI? Graphical User Interface. Now, let's look at this picture here. We can see these very tech savvy people wanting to use these devices and things like that. And how do you think they are able to access this? By the touch of their finger, by a touchpad, a mouse and things like that. Yes, but um, it's not totally possible by just touching it and doing things like that. To access any software, <coughs> you need to have an operating system. Now, what is an operating system? We have learned previously. It is a system that allows your computer to start. Like when you press the button to start your computer, Okay, the on button, the on switch, it starts talking to all the possible devices, the hardware, the software, everything is chatting with one another. And then, wow, you get a desktop there. Now, this process of starting your computer is called booting. Once your computer is booted and you have your desktop on your screen, you can access your computer because of the fact the operating system is loaded okay we've learned about the operating systems then comes the application systems you remember we've studied about that now the application system is where we the end user can use the computer but how is it that we can access the application system because there is an interface between the operating system and the application where we can actually use it all right now windows is an operating system and it is gui based now what is gui gui is graphical user interface now let me give you a very simple example when you go to school what do you wear a school uniform so you are recognized and allowed into the gate right so that uniform is the interface okay that allows you to come into the school all right you are recognized if you come in your colored clothes and try to enter the school premises on a school day you're not going to be allowed in absolutely not even if you say you belong to the school no you have to come to school in school uniform. So you are recognized by that uniform. The same way the computer has an operating system and this operating system talks to the various hardware and softwares to make that computer actually work for you. And then when you look at the computer, you will see graphics, pictures, icons, okay? So, these graphics, pictures, icons are called your graphical user interface where we as users are able to actually use devices, okay, handheld, portable, household, whatever devices. Now, when we open up our computer and boot it, we get this screen, okay. Now, I know that this envelope means there is some mail. This is a calendar. This gives me my contacts. This is my chat. This is email, uh, internet connectivity. This is a gaming device. So, these icons or graphics allow me as a user to access these different softwares. Okay. So, therefore, Windows is known as a graphical user interface now for example if i need to um, take a printout if i need to take a printout what happens is i go to my computer all right and there is an icon for my printer i click on that and i am able to access my printer either to print or to scan why is that possible? Because there is a software 
that enables my computer to recognize the printer that is attached to it and therefore me as the end user I am able to connect to that printer with a few clicks and get my printout done. So these are various other graphics like this shows you Chrome, this is your VLC player, your notepad, recycle bin, all are the devices or the icons that allow you to access those softwares on your computer. So today we have learned that Windows is a GUI and what is GUI? Graphical User Interface. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be sharing another one shortly with you. Thank you.